Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to The Real A50. It's the first Saturday in May. Elizabeth and I are offshore today. We had some really, really good weather. Finally, the winds laid down. It was a little bit windy going out. Um, I, I, I thought the waves and the winds were gonna be a little bit less than what they were, but um, it laid down later in the afternoon and we tried some uh, trolling. We tried some deep dropping and uh, we actually got on to several amberjacks again. Um, didn't get them into the boat, of course. Um, did catch a really big red snapper, and I'm really happy to say that uh, the video that I recently watched with Return Em Right, and I'm gonna put the link down in um, uh, the description of the video here so you guys can check them out. Return Em Right has a video that you can um, watch on through Instagram, I think and Facebook as well. And it shows you how to use these descending devices. It's really important whenever you catch a, a fish out here that the swim bladder swells up and it can't swim back down on its own. It's really important to get them back down to the deep and uh, give them a chance of survival. And it's required for the state It's of actually required now in the state of Florida that you have a descending device on the descending device on your boat if you're fishing offshore uh, for reef fish. So um, we got to test that out today and it took us about two or three times. We didn't give up. The first time I dropped it down and it wasn't quite deep enough and it came back up. So we went back over to the fish, hooked it again, sent it back down um, almost to the bottom I'd say. We were in about 110 feet of water and it was good to go. So really happy about that. Um, props to uh, the gentleman at Return Em Right that did the video and the training. Uh, it's very helpful. I highly recommend that. And you're going to get a free descending device sent to you if you go through the 15 minute training module. So it was really worth it and uh, a success story. And make sure you have the right weight. To you got to have the right weight too. Make sure the fish um, can go down. Yeah, I, that was a big red snapper you'll see in the video. And I didn't have quite enough weight to get it down, so I added more weight to um, to the device and was able to get it down. So really happy about that. Um, we got a bonita trolling. You know that's not what we're looking for, but they're still fun to catch, and you don't know what's coming up until uh, you get it to the boat. So that was pretty cool. Um, what else? Couple trigger fish. Couple undersized trigger fish. That elusive uh, 15 inch trigger fish we couldn't find today. Yeah. I think it was what 14, 14. 13 or 14 inches. Yeah. Couple of those. No bee liners today. Um, again, a couple more amber jacks. You know, you guys are probably tired of seeing us fight and lose these big amber jacks, but just a lot of fun catching them. But um, not a bad day. No. And we did see a subscriber while we were out here. So thank you for uh, coming over and saying hi to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, absolutely. That was really cool. That's uh, that's the first time that anybody's recognized us, which is, just blows us away because, you know, we don't we don't have a lot of subscribers to begin with. So to see someone out uh, 10 or 15 miles out today, Panama City Beach, and uh, to say hi to us, that was really cool. So. If you're watching, we really appreciate that. Thanks for uh, thanks for saying hi to us. That was cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Gotta be 15. Uh, oh, it's gonna of, be close. Maybe. Close. Eh, that's a 13 incher. 13 or 14. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Yeah. We haven't caught one. Finally, yet. finally a trigger fish. Oh, the elusive trigger fish. Those teeth are sharp. Good. So we know that there's some bigger than that down there for sure. Okay. My little teeth are so 
sharp. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to measure it. Uh, no, it wasn't 15. Oh, it wasn't. Got it under control? Got down in that wreck. Two plugs down. Bonita or what? Oh, that's pretty good size. All right. Chuck it back in there. Boom, there you went. It might be a jack though. What do you think? No, it's not a jack. It's not, I think it's, it might be a grouper or a snapper. Yeah. It's Still a nice catch, even if you can't keep it. I don't know, that might be a snapper, looks like. Big red snapper. Yep. Big old red snapper. <laughs> oh nice oh my goodness that's a monster yeah look at that thing wow you have to measure that i don't need to measure it i need to get back in the water and get my drone Ugh. wow what a snapper oh my goodness wow pull that thing up nice nice job of course we can't keep it Oh yeah. A keeper trigger maybe? 
It sure looks like it. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's a good one, though. Yeah, definitely. Make sure you measure that one. Yeah, we'll throw that one back before I measure yeah. it. Just hold <laughs> it. Measure that over there. That'd be 15. Nope. Oh, 14. Like we said, 14. Yep. They're always 14. All right. Still a good one, though. Heck yeah. Still pretty good. It was good. Which one do you hit? That one. one. Oh, yep. yeah. See? Trigger. They're really good eating, too. Heck yeah, those are They're really cool good fish. eating. All right. Good job, babe. All right.